Hello, young scientists. Today we are going to be talking about the Arctic and why these huge blocks of ice called icebergs float. So as you can see, there's a lot of water in the Arctic. Some of it is frozen, some of it is liquid, some of it is fresh water, and some of it is salt water but all of the water is very, very cold, which is why I brought my jacket here. Now, all this ice you see here is called a glacier, which is made of frozen fresh water. Sometimes pieces of these glaciers will break off into the ocean like you see here. Once they fall in the ocean, they will float, and we call that an iceberg. When you look at an iceberg, you see only the tip of it. In fact, a large amount of an iceberg is underwater with only part of it sticking out from the surface. But how on earth do these huge chunks of freshwater ice float in the ocean? I think we need to do some experiments to find out. So here are the supplies you will need. Okay, so here we are, back in the warmth of my own home. It's nice to be out of the cold. Um, we're actually, now that we have our supplies, we're gonna do two experiments, okay? The first one is very simple. All you need is a cup, okay? So here I have my cup. Now ideally, you can find a cup that has some markings on it. That way you can easily know how high you filled the cup. You can see on mine I have this small little Santa right here, and I filled it up right up to the tip of his hat. Okay, just so that I know how full my cup is. Um, if you don't have a cup with markings, that's totally fine. You can use like a small piece of tape and that'll help you to know exactly where you filled it to. So you could just put a piece of tape right around there. Okay, so for this first experiment, all you're gonna do is fill your cup to a certain spot. Once you know that spot, you're gonna put the cup in the freezer. And you just need to make sure that in the freezer you put it on as flat a surface as you can because that's going to matter later on in the experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in the freezer on a flat surface and you're going to leave it there for at least around four hours. Okay, so I'm going to go do that now. All right, so now that you have that in the freezer, we're going to do the second experiment. Okay, so all you're going to need is your bowl. Make sure you fill it up a little bit with water. And then you need your other items, which is a leaf, a small plastic bead, or you can just use a small piece of something that's plastic, a penny, a small rock, a piece of styrofoam, which I just use a piece of a styrofoam cup, and then a toothpick. I didn't have a toothpick, so I just used a small stick. That's totally fine, too. And then lastly, you'll need an ice cube. All right, now, the experiment's very easy. You're really just going to be dropping these items into the bowl to see if they float. But before you do that, I want you to take a look at this chart right here, Go ahead and copy it down, and on your own, before you do the experiment, I want you to put in the guess column whether you think each item is going to float in water. All right, once you've done that and you've made your guesses, then you can actually drop the items in the water one at a time, or you can just do it all at the same time if you want, and take a look and see which items float, and see if your guesses were correct or, or if you were wrong. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so were you surprised by your results? Did you guess everything correctly? If not, that's not a problem. That's why we do experiments, right? Um, for me, the ice cube, the toothpick or small stick, the leaf, the styrofoam, and my plastic bead all floated. Now, depending on the type of plastic you used, maybe it floated, maybe it sunk. Uh, but the rest should have been the same results that I got. Um, and you might be wondering, why is it that some things float and other things don't? Well, the answer is that some things are more dense than others, and things that are more dense than water will sink. Now, I'm sure your next question is, why is it that the ice cube floated when it's made out of water, right? Doesn't seem to make sense. Well, actually, 
Water is a very special substance because it's one of the only substances on Earth where when it freezes, it actually expands. And by expanding, it actually becomes just slightly less dense. It will usually expand around 10% larger than the, the water that it started as. And so this brings us back to our first experiment, right? You put your water in the freezer, you know exactly where you filled the cup to, and actually I already had a cup that froze earlier, so I'm going to show you the results. If you don't want to see them, you can go ahead and pause the video here, but I will show you where mine expanded to. So remember, I filled it to the top of Santa's hat, and if you look closely, it went a little bit above Santa's hat. And actually, in the middle, there's a big bulge, where if I were to measure from there, it went quite a bit above Santa's hat there. Okay, so this is why some things float. This is exactly why icebergs will float in the ocean. They're less dense than the ocean water that they're in. And so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our experiments today. I hope you learned something. And thank you for joining me, scientists. I will see you next time. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.